My name is Tim. I served in the United States Air Force from 1985 till 1990, and then I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1990 to 1997. Even though it's kind of a little chilly out here today, it's beautiful just being out here and being with my son and spending time with him. It's a wonderful stress reliever. Just anything you can do to get your mind off things really does help. I would have to say from a very early age, I was a pretty tough little kid and I knew once I graduated high school that I, I wanted to do something different than everybody else. I didn't want to hang around the hometown. I wanted to get out and travel and see different places. So I decided I wanted to go in the military. I internalized a lot of things throughout my life and throughout my military career that I didn't even realize at the time that I was doing. It didn't come out till years later with my wife and her telling me that I had something wrong, that there was something wrong and I needed to talk to somebody about it. And I kind of dismissed it. I'm like, oh, you're crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. You know, I'm a tough guy, I'm a Marine, I know what I'm doing. And she's like, no, there's something wrong. You need to talk to somebody. You should talk to a therapist. And as soon as she said that buzzword therapist, I thought, in my mind, I'm like, you're the crazy one. I don't need a therapist. Yeah, it took me a while to get there. And I didn't realize there's a lot of damage I was doing to the people, even the people that I loved around me, not physically, but mentally through what I was going through. I would reached a, a real low point in my life. I was actually homeless for about a year. I decided in my mind that I wanted to commit suicide at one point. I remember being on the subway on the metro and there was a little, uh, a little sign, a little uh, ad on the, on the wall in the subway on the metro that said, um, even heroes can ask for help. I just put my head down and I started crying. I'm thinking, you know, what that was about, what that sign was about. And I'm thinking about what I'd done wrong in my life be because before this, I was so successful. I called the number and there was a guy on the other line and he goes, you really need to get some help. Do you want me to send help for you? And I just started crying. I said, yes. So there's a, a program, the guy running it was an army veteran. And he said, you know what, come on in. I'll get you, get you the help that you need. You, you, you really need some help and I think I can help you. I said, okay. At first, you know, I got there and I'm thinking, you know, the typical tough guy saying, oh, this therapy, it ain't gonna do no nothing for me. And as time went on and I went through each day and I started realizing how much that therapy helped. Even my son has noticed such a difference in me, the way I used to be and the way I am now. I just started becoming involved in the community, which I never did before. And I started talking to different veterans and different friends that I had and making them aware of all, all these services and th things that are out there to help them. The best thing we can do is to help another fellow veteran. And the best way to do that is just to reach out to them. The VA is a gr great place to reach out for help. They have a lot of mental health professionals. They have a lot of people there waiting and trained to help you out. You need to be there for your family, for your loved ones.